President Obama is all but saying that he believes Vladimir Putin was behind the hacking of the Democratic National Committee. Now, this particular subject dominated the president's final year-end news conference on Friday, and ABC's Mary Bruce is in Washington for us this morning. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. Yeah, well, two days before the election results become official, questions are mounting this morning about whether the results were influenced by Russian hackers. And now President Obama is stepping in, pointing a finger at Russian President Vladimir Putin. Come on. In his final year-end press conference, President Obama pushed back, defending his response to Russia's hacking and interference in the U.S. election. Everybody had the information. It was out there, and we handled it the way we should have. Obama says he told Putin to knock it off at this summit in September. Talk to him directly and tell him to cut it out, and there were going to be some serious consequences if he didn't. That warning, he says, stopped future hacking. But critics are questioning why the president didn't act sooner or call out Russia publicly. Obama says that would have turned the issue into a political football. I wanted to make sure that everybody understood we were playing this thing straight. Russia reportedly intended to sway the election in Trump's favor, but Trump continues to deny U.S. intelligence, questioning if Russia was involved at all. They have no idea if it's Russia or China or somebody. It could be somebody sitting in a bed someplace. Weighing in for the first time, Hillary Clinton says she believes Putin was trying to settle old scores. That he holds a grudge after she challenged the fairness of Russia's own election. Vladimir Putin himself directed the covert cyber attacks against our electoral system, against our democracy, apparently because he has a personal beef against me. This morning, the FBI and U.S. intelligence agencies agree Putin was personally involved. The CIA director saying they're in sync on the scope, nature, and intent of Russia's interference. President Obama stopped short of blaming Putin directly, but made clear. Not much happens in Russia without Vladimir Putin. Now, one thing Obama won't comment on, whether Hillary Clinton lost because of the Russian hacking. He says he'll leave that to the pundits. Now, Obama has promised to retaliate against Russia, but he won't give specifics. Dan. All right, Mary, thank you.